Hi. So, something random that God put on my heart this morning when I was thinking about the melanated womb man on earth. That is the melanated womb man on earth. Woman is a nigga of the world by John Lennon. This quote, I literally randomly came across it. Yes, so God did literally push his creation of universe to let me to come across this. And I was angered at first when I read this quote. And then I was neutralized because one of my most recent affirmations that God had allowed me and led me to learning was that my child, there's no difference. There's no separation, which means that there is no good. Neither there is there, is there any bad. There is no separation. And with the whole mentality of acknowledging some, such a thing as existing, shall we give and feed the frequency of this word? Shall we give and feed the frequency and existence of this thing, this being? Because it is not of me. And everything is of me. I have been, I am now, and I will always be. I am the creator of all things. And I am, I am of all things. And all things is of me that is all good on this earth. And I am all good that is on this earth. So with the realization, I was literally drained of any kind of negative thoughts and any negative vibes that I was getting on this quote, woman is the nigga of the world. Thank you, John Lennon. You may use your words and others might take it and feel any kind of negativity from it. However, I choose not. I choose to actually infiltrate this word and to express it in another perspective. So when I read... Woman is a nigga of the world by John Lennon. I hear womb man holds within her womb, woman and man. Within her womb is the world. Now that's by IP, Indigo Prodigy, with his me. That's one. Now another interesting thing I came across this morning when I wrote this down, I said, wow, nigga of the world. What does nigga even mean? It's like I forgot about what it's mean and I I forgot so much because literally it hasn't been a part of my experience because I had allowed that to exit my mind. The Oxford English Dictionary said that a nigger in 1577 was actually pronounced from the Nigris of Athiop, translated from the Spanish as Los Negros in Ethiopia. I just thought that would be something interesting to say just to swindle that in there, actually influencing the topic of unity being that this actually came straight all the way from Ethiopia, pronounced through Hispanic, a Hispanic language. That means it was spoken in countries miles and thousands of miles away. However, it was still something within reference. Relevant or not? Yes, relevant to the people in which it spoke of it, right? Yet people that has never heard it did not know of its existence, so it did not affect their experience here on Earth. Now, for the melanated woman on Earth, since 1960s, the social change of, in the civil rights movement was actually made it serious. Like, okay, the word nigga is a word. So, I was like, so I guess now at that moment is us when the melanated womb man on earth started to feel a shift in her human experience. However, now it is 2017. Now it is the welcoming of the fifth dimension. Now it is the day of the future because the future is now. I'm not here to be like a... Malcolm X, I'm not here to be like a woman feminism. I'm not here to stand for any specific titleism. The main focus of this meeting and adjournment is the focus on the words, the melanated womb man of the earth. The melanated womb man of the earth can go so far just because of the words. Due to the things that I've said, I had made a elaboration on the point that words are words and we give the value to words due to our understanding of these words or our understanding which means yes standing underneath the comprehension of these words so being that we now understand as brothers and sisters what it is to be a melanated woman on earth we have the perspective and the option to pay attention and acknowledge the negative words and meanings that was connected to words that defines our power or we can choose to love and embrace the light that literally pours from the meanings and the words that was attempted to be connected to us because of our power as women y'all feel me feel well it's enough for me because the horn top point is the melanated woman on earth is one woman we are all one voice one woman so, let's see what we really have to say. 
I am a melanated woman, a woman of strength, a woman of power, a woman that adopts what I truly believe by thinking so am I. So I think those things as though they were and they begin to happen. As a melanated woman, we continue to push forward and and be that strength, the strength that we find within ourselves, the blood that, ro that rises through us is that of God. So a melanated woman is a woman that truly knows who she is. And by knowing that, she doesn't adopt anything else that anybody places in her mind. I am a melanated woman. I am a melanated woman. I am strong and I am powerful. I am she who is of all, of all power. We give birth to this earth. We are a melanated woman. We are strength. We are wise. We are, period. Melanated woman. Barrier breaker. Groundbreaking to understand that the words you speak not only sets your universe in motion, but it sets everyone's universe in motion that comes through your passage. So you understand that the words and the weight of the words that you say have to be so spot on and almost so precise that you bite your tongue when you want to share curse words, when you want to curse, because you understand that that human they have came through your womb, through some interaction. Because you're the woman which life passes through. But what is the womb? Because some women don't have children, but they still have a womb. So what's the womb? The womb is your mind. That what I think happens, that what I speak is life, that what I create orbits into existence so you may have passed through the womb because you may have passed through my thoughts. I may have thought on you. I may have prayed on you. I may have talked about you. So we understand that the melanated woman is the woman that bears melanated color of pigmentation. What is color? Colors is not the colors that we see skin deep. Colors is the things that we orbit in our aura. That is your color. Some of us don't have the eye to see, but some of us don't even need it to reach our truth. That may not be for you, but if it is, melanated woman. Woman of many descendants, really. What is white? What is black? Besides mm. a color. Mm. And that color is not part of my aura. So therefore, I don't care the color you place on me. It's just a name tag. Because I understand. I got the woman. What life passed through. That's what a melanated woman is. I am. My name is Indigo Prodigy, and I am a melanated woman on Earth. And I am proud to be a melanated woman on Earth as being a direct tool to be used by our Holy Creator. My name is Shanita Wynn, and I am a melanated woman. And I am proud to be a melanated woman on Earth. My name is Kenise, and I am a melanated woman on Earth. My name is Nicole Lyric, and I'm a melanated woman on Earth.
I sweat is trouble implementing in the land, but I understand my mind is ready for intervention. What you wishing for? Grab the hope and take hold of your goals. Yes, I know I am strong. I was made, I was built, I'm equipped. I get it, but first, when I understand that I can come from here, then I understand I'm the very gift for all of them. It's a heavy weight that I didn't think I could take But God find at the right time To just align you with your power and your strip And help you realize you was really equipped I was made for this, I was born for this I got my eyes wide open and I'm really on this I've been practicing for this moment That's what I have in the closet So it, it, in the closet of my mind I've been climbing the climax I can get it, I can get it It's real descriptions I'm high up in the clouds I'm up under the skies I think I'm really afraid Cause I understand I am the jewel that has fallen from his crown I understand the barriers down all of these women, all of these lyrics, all of these words, we really trying to heal it. We really trying to let you feel it. Really want to want you to understand where we coming from, from the motherland. Going back home, this ain't even my land, but I comprehend. I'ma have riches right here. I'ma have blessings right here. Really, 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 how do you feel? That my ancestors didn't go through hell just for me to be in this moment. In my hell, you are crazy. They went through hell for me, so I'm going to heaven. Ancestors bled all this blood on this land that created me. Now I understand. I am more than a woman.
honestly, from all of us to you, we are a melanated woman on earth. We are what? A melanated woman on earth. Peace, guys. Have a blessed day. Oh, my head wrap, please. I'm Jaleel. Jaleel? Yes. So here's the part where we kind of let her know. If not. Here's the part where we let her know. Ladies. So I was trying to tell her, I mean, okay. Yeah, no problem. Sis, it's a thing. You are late. You did miss the first half of what we're doing, but it's okay. We were waiting on you, and when God has a will, there is a way. The reason why we had to get started is the lights are on. When the sun goes down, the park closes. Okay. So they we lock are, it, gate it up. Yeah, but we in here. They can't lock us in here. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and take advantage of the fact that we're already in here and they can't like stop us from coming in. Yeah. Right now. We're okay. gonna go ahead and walk on the trails and hopefully we can do one more freestyle and you'll be in it. We already had a little melanie that we had created not too long ago. Do that one more time and you can be a part of it. I like that. Okay. <laughs> so we're about to go put our stuff back in the car and I'm gonna catch y'all later. We're gonna go for a walk and a hike. So I'll let you know when we're about on that. You'll be there when we're doing that. <laughs> this is where I connect to nature more than anything, more than anywhere, when I go down the boardwalk. When I first came here with different people and stuff like that, this is the part that scared me the most. So it's so beautiful how we could fear the unknown. Huh. When you're nature, all right, I'll let somebody I wanted to know, how much of you guys meditate? Um, I want to get into it. Probably not as much as I could in morning, night. When I'm by myself. This never happened. Never meditated? No. Nope. This never happened. Camera guy. Now the beautiful thing, when y'all think about meditating, y'all probably think about crossing your legs and going, um. Nope. No. Nope. Y'all know what meditating is then. Yep. No. Meditating. I sit out and I think. Just sit down. The I'll do it. I just haven't did it in a while. Explain for the camera like, and for people who do not know. Journey. Okay, so meditating, in other words, it's not about crossing your legs and like an Indian and saying, um, we are in an understanding that meditating is all about relaxing all of your muscles, your mind, and even your eyes. Even allowing your mind to shut off and just focusing on the beauty and the sound that is around you. The sounds that is around you and allowing these sounds to take you somewhere. Allowing yourself to travel in place. And that's what meditating is, just letting go. And this is one of the best places that we can do it. And this is what unity is about. It's about meditating in ourselves and connecting with each other. And being a melanated woman of earth, being a melanated woman, <clears throat> excuse me, on earth, is all about meditating on our own, connecting within our higher self, and with our higher self connecting amongst each other. And this divine intervention is proof. It's proof that we all know each other. And we all together can go far as divine kings and queens. And the more that we meditate on our own, the more that we make action according to the goals that aspire and rubble up in our hearts. And the more that we move forth, regardless of what fear seems to jump in our way and to realize that fear is a liar. And to meditate, focus on self, focus on self, focus on self. And that's what it's all about. So we actually are nearing up to where the board, the bird watching area is. No, we're not going. I know what we're not going. You know, this like they like you be talking through this and the whole listening thing. You hear the tune coming. I got some music, so we good. You're right. See the little bang. It's all about the yeah. It's all about. I said it's all about the you and I see why. All about the you and I see why. It's all about the you and I see why. All about the you and I see why. It's all about the you and I see why. All about the you and I see why. It's all about the you and I see why. It's all about the you and I see why. It's all about you. It's all about my sisters and how we stand together and do what we need to do. It's all about you and I. 
see why do we have to literally be controversial it's all about you it's all about expressing what is on your spirit for you to do what you're simply meant to do it's all about you and i see why under god and do what we need to and what is in us to do there's still no need to try it's all about you you it's all about the you and I It's all about that you and I T Y the You and I T Y It's all about the You and I T Y Everything is really about the You and I No need to fight, you feel me it's about the You and I T Y And if you feel me now sing that You and I T Y Now sing that sing that You and I Even when the word and it's about When I got this weight on my shoulder, when something's holding me back, I say it's all about the you and I, T Y. It's all about 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 you and it's all about you. It's all about the you and the T-Y. It's all about the you and the T-Y. I said it's all about you and the T-Y. You and the T-Y. You and the T-Y. It's all about you and the T-Y. You and the T-Y. You and the T-Y. You and the T-Y. It's all about you and the T-Y. You and the T-Y. You and the T-Y. Sometimes I cry. It's all you and the T-Y. What you feeling, no disrespecting when you walk on the name This is the queen, I wear the crown, baby, with no frowns I wear the smile and it light beams, send light things Two different universe, a different equation What you thank you, what you thank you Wake up early in the morning, got me praying, you got me praying You got me really reversing, rehearsing my lines Really reversing and wondering why Will I leave off in the hearse, will I leave this earth before I do my work What's my purpose? What's my purpose? Help me nurture, help me nurture, help me love, help me love, help me stand even when I don't love myself. Show me myself, even when I don't see me. Show me myself, even when I can't believe. Woo. Believe in your grace, believe in your power, believe in your mercy. Lord, help me translate these words into verses. I'm nurturing hearts and minds, souls, wounds all the way to the end of the earth. Said you was with me, you'll never leave nor forsake. Show me what you got. Give me your best, cause I'm giving you mine. My life, my hurt, my pain. I'm putting it down at your altar, and I'm saying, in your name. So help me write, help me stand. Show me how to comprehend. Even when nobody around me, I'm surrounded by strong women. It's about unity. Yeah. Unity. And you and me. Oh, and you and me. Oh, that unity. What that unity is, what it really is, it's just love, yes, and not the feeling. It's all that love, it's just love, that's all it is. It's just love. Us coming together in our differences, I said it is just love. Us coming together and we not knowing one another, I swear it is just love. How are we be rhyming on the same beat in the same universe and melody? How do we connect as a symphony? But you know, it's love. It's a unity. We stand and I swear that it's love. We are in the middle of nowhere, no GPS, but we still connected. I said we connected. We know we connected. It's all about unity, baby.
how the favorite it is to hear yeah. my sisters come together to really come together as one and freestyle and do just whatever. Like it's all about the U and I and T Y. Get get it, don't have to try. Got my sister hit by my side, don't work about thing. You know it now it's homicide. About to kill it down, about to hit the town. When you know hey. we're coming, know we shut it down. Except it's you and I, and now we got the crown. Then it's that T Y, you know we got the snap. Cause it's all about the U and I T Y. All together we can die. Oh, that's Satan that's all together. And you know we praising God is about the U and I T Y. You and I T Y. You and I T Y. You and I So I just want to thank you, God, and I want to give all glory to God for the divine intervention of us melanated women on earth. I want to thank God for bringing us up here together. I have such a beautiful fascination and a love for every single person that's in front of me right now. The fact that you guys were able to come here, the fact that we were able to meet yesterday mm -hmm. and have this idea after a random spontaneous performance I did <laughs> yesterday night. <laughs> and we actually are here the next day, literally doing what it is that we love to do. And I want to thank you guys for coming here and just expressing yourselves and letting me to get to know y'all. And I want to let you guys get some time to talk too. So, but I just want to say thank y'all. I really am looking forward to the next meeting that we have as Melanated Woman on Earth. Hey, hey. I am too. So well, thank you for inviting us into uh, what you saw and letting us into your world. This was your world. This was your idea. This was your baby. So rather know how, how long it took whatever you still invited us into your moment mm -hmm. and I, I'm glad you allowed me to share this melanated woman with you on earth um, in this moment so I am greatly appreciative of you thank you thank you okay I want to say thank you for creating this atmosphere because I felt like I needed something like this and it's kind of crazy how it all happened you know like it just happened mm -hmm. on its own so it was meant to be like that's God Oh man. Hey. I just want to thank you for letting me come in the woods <laughs> and all that good stuff. I've been getting bit by bugs and all that stuff, you know? No, for real. I really had a good time. Like, this is really getting me out of my shell because I'm the type of person that I don't want to be in the light. I'm comfortable being in the background. Uh, but this has been amazing. So I really appreciate you for letting us in your woods with all that good stuff. <laughs> thank you guys. I feel so much love. That's why I keep hugging y'all. <laughs> thank you for coming. Look, thank you for coming. <laughs> nah, um, so yeah, this is pretty dope. I ain't gonna lie, because I've been through a crazy journey. And um, it's crazy because I tell people, like, you don't realize when you start to ask for something, you don't have to ask for it. People, you know, they're asking, but they're not putting the action towards it. But once the real action is like, what I'm starting to see is when you break away from your normal. You know, basically, right now in society, you know, they say this is the normal. This is how black people are supposed to be. This is how black men, how black women are supposed to carry themselves. Mm -hmm. And they basically try to erase our consciousness. Call it how you see it. That's right. the art of war. Right. Mm -hmm. Is when you want to mm -hmm. destroy a group, what you do, you take the warrior mm -hmm. and you take the men. Mm -hmm. And so we see that and they have not been able to do that with us right so you know i think it's crazy because for the first four years i hung around nothing but guys that was older mm -hmm. younger and they basically taught me a lot and now i feel like he's putting me around women that i need to be around now. yeah so i love it and i haven't tried to force anything i've let mm -hmm. people fall where they fall and i say you know what i'll just be a loner until everything falls in place so I just want to piggyback off that. Right. I'm telling you, listen, you saying I, what you what you realize is when you break away from your norm, and I had to. I'm learning to do that in all facets, and I tell you what I realized to top that was you ain't got to do nothing but rise to the occasion 
and know it is done. And when you walk out your front door, everything you need to align is already aligned itself. Yeah. And even when you going through hell, you doubting yourself. You are your own worst critic and enemy. You have that internal battle. You still got the power to say, shut up, devil inside of me because he's there he's alive it's not the devil it's just your demon you created and fed all the negative energy to that's right. right you shift that energy back on god right and know it ain't in you and you go into humility you go in his grace you go in his anointing it is this moment is in this moment is doing something for me yes god right and i can tell you i'm appreciative of all you women i can tell you i'm i couldn't have did this a year ago because somebody would ask me to do what you're doing i would be real mm -hmm. hesitant because i'm real guarded that's I don't right. like nobody coming into my closet because my closet with me and God is me and God. I don't need nobody to tear me from that. I exactly. ain't never had it. I don't never need it. Everybody in my life, if you're going to tell me, God, you, I, when I was a kid, you saying, date nobody because I'm working on my relationship with Jesus. A lot of <laughs> my exes will tell you that. But I, I, I meant that from a kid. I always meant that. And this, I, I, I would have been scared to let y'all in my closet. Mm -hmm. But to this day, and even up until yesterday, I prepared my mind, I prepared my heart, and my spirit to be in the presence in that moment. I don't like to be on my phone. And I'm horrible with test responding. And I'm, I'm, I'm getting is. to a point. I'm getting to a point. <laughs> you go out. I'm but fine. I, 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 I like to, in that moment, I, I'm learning I want to really be in the moment and be in the energy. And I cry, I laugh. I was so engaged in the moment. Something in me just got filled, man. And I needed that. I needed that. So when, what I just go to say, you do not have to. We, He said, accident it shall be given. Right. We got, he said, I give you dominion over all the things that creep with the earth, which means I, mm -hmm. little old me, got the power to tell the clouds to move. I want to see the sun. Right. I want to see the sun. I am a child of God that fell from the crown. So when you say raise the consciousness, <laughs> heck yeah, they trying to let us forget where we come from. We don't come from earth. We come from God. We're a right. child of God. All of us are a child of God. This right. melanin woman is back to your creation of who you are. Why? Because that's where we go when we leave this earthly body. Where we yeah. going? Right. We going back to him. Before we even turn off the camera, I wanted to express, like, the police is coming now, but we had a melanated woman on earth meeting. And the things that I just heard just now touched me so deeply because... And all of my sisters, all of you speak through me and we speak through each other. We truly are one within this human experience. The things that I've heard today was what I've been waiting for since I was a child. As a child, I faced so much depression. I'm sure so much people could relate when I even said at one point being young. I even felt down to the point of even almost being suicidal. Okay. It's gotten so bad and I always thought that I was alone. And being patient, God always told me be patient. I've let in so much people, I've called on so much people, but only a few were chosen. So I want to thank God for bringing together the chosen ones so that we can actually do and put some action for it. So thank you. Thank you, God. Amen.